everyone and welcome back to your weekly weather forecast. This week is going to be rainy and cloudy with a chance of sunshine. Monday is starting the week off with rain and will bring us a high of 53 degrees and a low of 47 degrees. Tuesday will be partly cloudy with a high of 53 and a low of 47. Wednesday will be cloudy and is bringing us a high of 58 and a low of 37. Thursday will be mostly sunny with a high of 59 and a low of 39. And finally Friday. Friday will bring us a high of 62 with a low of 41. Have a great week, Bulldogs, and remember, there's always a chance of rain. Ant loves to play cards, and he's good at it. So good that he's planning on winning the local tournament until his partner gets into a fight and he's banned from playing. Only one other kid can play the game as well, and that's Shirley, a girl. This is not a romance novel. It's a book about friendships and expectations and finding out that complicated lives exist for people even when we think their lives are perfect. Playing the cards you're dealt is a story that will grab you from the first page and perfect for helping understand what struggles others may be going through. From your very friendly librarian, playing the cards that you're dealt. There's another day emergency, people, but this time it's attitudes. If you're having a bad day, please don't take it out on others. You could just ask your teacher for a break instead of yelling at them. It's not their fault. So you already know your boy D-Money is going to show you how to control your emotions. Now, JB the Rebel, Rebel is going to show you what not to do when having a poopy day. Now that you've seen what to do and what not to do, it should be easier to control your emotions. Remember, your attitude is gratitude. It's JB. And it's D-Money. Hopping Hop on. on. Our ASB leaders attended the leadership field trip at Liberty Middle School earlier this month. The future leaders of tomorrow from different schools around the area came together to collaborate and learn from each other. In the beginning, we had the opportunity to bound and get to know others plus their schools. Not only that, we also learned a dance. We made posters on what changes we want for our school and listened to others' feedback. Also, we learned the issue of other schools and advised them the best we could. We played a community bonding game holding up straws and doing our best not to drop them where we learned how to use teamwork and perseverance not to give up. And in the end, we learned how to enhance leadership, teamwork, and communication skills by reflecting on things we wanted to change and learn.
Do you have nothing to do with your family on the weekend? Well, I just have the thing for you. Tacoma Nature Center is hosting a family nature walk on April 20th from 1 through 2 p.m. You can explore Tacoma's park during this naturalist-led walk. Participants must be able to travel on unpaved and uneven trails from up to one mile. This will happen when it's raining or when there's sun, so dress properly. If you want to bring a pet, make sure it's a service animal. This event is free, so if you want to go, you can sign up on Metro Park. Welcome back to another sports update with Maya and Cameron. I hope you all had an amazing time at tryouts and congrats to the athletes who made the team. Reminder, softball has their first game on April 19th and they'll be going against Meeker and it'll be at Meeker Middle School and the game will start at 3.30 p.m. For wrestling, they have their first wrestling match on April 18th. They will be playing against Meeker Middle School here at Baker. It will start at 3.30 p.m. For track, they have a track meet on the 18th too, located at Chilman Middle School. It will start at 3.30 p.m. So make sure to go support your Bulldogs at their first game, match, and track meet. Good luck to all players. This is Maya and, and Cameron signing out. Oh, yeah.